Welcome to our digital story on the diversity and evolution of ratites, created by Emily, Tom, Charlotte, Becky, and Amy. This video is based on our trip to Oxford Natural History Museum. So, what is a ratite? A ratite is essentially a non-flying bird which is only found or distributed over the southern land masses. For example, an ostrich, emu, cassowary, kiwi, moa, rhea or elephant bird. Ratites are recognised by the lack of a keel on their sternum, thus lacking a stable skeletal anchor for flight muscles. Ratites also have heavy solid bones able to anchor large leg muscles adapted for running, allowing ostriches to reach speeds of 40 miles per hour. Another adaptation of the ostrich is their eyeballs being two inches in diameter. The ostrich's eye is far larger than its own brain. Large eyes are needed for its terrestrial lifestyle in the savanna to allow it to spot danger and run away. But with a huge number of photoreceptor cells, an ostrich can see in immense detail. There are controversies <coughs> into the extraordinary eyesight of the ratites, with the ostrich suggesting a violet light sensitive pigment, whilst other researchers found that the visual pigment is ultraviolet sensitive in all ratites, including the ostrich and the kiwi. This lends itself to the nocturnal lifestyle of the kiwi, as it must have adapted to low light levels. Some of these winged dinosaurs, the earliest members of the pteropod dynasty, fused their left and right collarbones into a new structure, the wishbone. Birds later co-opted the wishbone to serve as a spring that stores energy when they flap their wings. The distinctive hollow bones also originate from early dinosaurs. The hollow bones also presented the possibility for efficient through flow of oxygen from inhalation and exhalation allowing for a high energy lifestyle. In the wings, all ratites have a humerus that's longer than the lower arm. There are differences in the diets of ratite species. Moas have been analysed and it has been found that their diet consisted mainly of twigs and seeds. This is very similar to the diet of ostriches which are only feeding on shrubs and green grasses. However, species such as the cassowary and kiwis are omnivorous and often are seen to feed on small vertebrates and insects. Whilst rheas and emus also feed on insects, the bulk of their diet is herbaceous. Emus are different from other ratites as they are also found to eat pebbles and small stones which is thought to aid their digestion. Little is known about the diet of the elephant bird. Ostriches and rheas have long winged feathers that attach to the long tridactyl two-clawed hands. <laughs> Emus and cassowaries have very short wings with a single claw, whilst moas have no wings at all. This variation in the wings of ratites is a small amount of evidence that ratites derived from several species rather than a single ancestor. We can look at the phylogenetic tree to see how the evolution of early ancestors and other species led to the formation of ratites. Their classification can be seen for the kingdom of Animalia animals, the phylum of Chordata chordates, the subphylum of Vertebrata vertebrates, the class of Aves birds, and finally the order of Struthioniforms, which can also be known as the Paleonates, meaning flightless birds. The tinamous originate from South, Central and Southern North America. All species are small compared to ratites and capable of flight. They lack unkeeled, raft-like sternum, reduced or absent forelimbs and proportionately long legs and neck, including the loose, decomposed plumage. However, despite the fact that they were often regarded as neonates close to the galliforms, tinamous clearly share morphological and molecular characters with ratites. Together, both are united within paleonates, the bird clade typically imagined to be atomically and perhaps behaviorally and ecologically older than other birds. Ratites are native to the Southern Hemisphere, Two species of ostrich, Struthio, are found in Africa and formerly Asia. 
The emu, Jamaeus, is found in Australia. Three species of cassowaries, Casarius, is found in New Guinea and also northeast of Australia. Three species of kiwi, Atrix, are found in New Zealand. And two species of rheas are found in South America. The geographical distribution of these ratites can help us determine ideas of how they evolved and how they became more diverse. Their distribution can also help support the theories behind continental drift and the splitting of Pangaea into Gondwana. Six hundred million years ago, the supercontinent known as Pangaea split under immense pressure, causing two separate continents known as Gondwana and Laurasia to form. With continental breakup, questions the position of ratites as a recognisable Gondwanan taxon. 150 million years ago, Gondwana broke up and formed the southern continents we know today as Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. The theory of Gondwana splitting suggests that flightless birds already existed as the early ancestors of today's modern ratites. When Gondwana split, the flightless birds may have travelled with the land masses and over millions of years they have evolved into separate species we have today. This could be seen as an example of divergent evolution where one species evolves into a number of different species due to the impact of isolation. The second theory as to how ratites evolved suggests that their ancestors were volant and had the ability to fly. This theory proposes that the ancestors of ratites flew to the southern land masses and over time lost their ability to fly as it was no longer seen as advantageous. According to Cooper, the absence of ground-dwelling predators contributed towards the loss of flight. Over time, species of ratite evolved similarities such as powerful legs independently from each other, hence they would have followed the path of convergent evolution. Some supporting evidence for ratites deriving from flying ancestors comes from the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos Islands are over 5 million years old and rose from submarine volcanoes. Many birds now inhabit the island, cormorants being one of the species that reside there. Flying uses a lot of energy and when the cormorants initially settled on the island there was little need to, for the cormorants to fly. There were no mammals to bother them and no natural predators. Over hundreds of years the wings of cormorants have shrunk and their feathers are frayed, hence they would not be able to sustain flight. Ratites are declining today due to influences from hunting and urban development leading to habitat loss. Reflecting on the population of ratites, conservation practices were put in place to keep the numbers from declining. The double wattled cassowary, Cassarus cassarus, is one of the most vulnerable ratites which, according to the ICUN in 2016, had undergone a rapid decline in the past three years, mainly due to the swift habitat destruction. Ratites are key in ecological succession, with losing the ratites are ecosystem will collapse. Dispersing over 100 different species of fruit in the rainforest, the cassowary plays a critical ecological role. The emus also contribute by distributing seeds and increasing the germination by passing through the digestive system. There are two main hypotheses on the evolution of ratites which are still debated today. Hypothesis 1 states they were already flightless due to the reduction or loss of the sternal keel. The splitting of Gondwana distributed the ratites along the seven land masses. Hypothesis 2 suggests that ratites evolved from flying ancestors who lost the ability to fly as it was no longer advantageous, possibly due to less competition, plentiful food and absence of predators following the decline in dinosaurs in the Cretaceous period. Overall, the ratites are a very diverse group, however, they do have similarities such as flightlessness, very strong legs and an unkeeled sternum. Ratites are fascinating creatures which are slowly declining, therefore the protection of them is fundamental for ecological processes.